going on guys welcome to the video so obviously I've already been out been for a walk been to the gym to get some food in the system so the main is tuna avocado tomato mayo a couple pitters and some hummus next up apple and a banana final thing I'm gonna munch for this lunch is I've got a Cadbury's brunch raisin oats bar um had that before though it's pretty good but I haven't had one of these yet so it's a Nature Valley crunchy dark chocolate, so try that for you guys. The crumble is real, get a plate if you can eat one of these. I don't know what I expected really, I mean it says dark chocolate, so would have thought. I was just hoping it was going to be a bit like, it's alright, give it like a 6. I think the um, Cadbury's is better. For the record, this is what the other one looks like. All that's really done is make me want a bit more chocolate, so gone for some proper chocolate, Cadbury's, whole nut and fruit, fruit and nut aka. Sugar's a drug man, don't care what people say, it's so bad for you, it's so good though. Right people have now freshened up and stopped being a fat pig, but um, on a kind of serious note, I thought just before I give a very brief update, I'd just say my condolences and my thoughts go out to anyone who was involved um, in the Manchester attacks last night because the world's pretty fucked up. Anyway, currently sat in the garden, beautiful day, yesterday was beautiful too. Um, if everything doesn't work out, might just become a weatherman. So the last week pretty much just been rattling on training, um, weight is still high, I didn't quite diet as much as I should have. but. My kind of thought process at the moment is looking like I might not fight until the beginning of September now or possibly the end of August, but probably beginning of September. So if I start dieting now, that means I'll be dieting all to them. And then after that, I'm hoping to do the World Championships in November. So I don't really see the point in starting yet when it's a few months away. So what I'm going to do is I've now booked to go away to Spain because um, my friend Luke, aka Big Slow, is running his summer camp at his gym um, so that is at the beginning of June in just under two weeks time so I'm gonna go out there for like nine nights um, he's also got John going out there as like a guest coach and he's got Brad Pickett too for anyone that's a uh, fan of him so should be some really good training it's over in like Malaga um, so obviously take the camera I'm sure we'll get some cool footage along the way but uh, really excited about that and I think when I get back from that so I doubt I'm going to eat that healthy over there. Um, then I'll kind of cut back and get my weight down. This morning I was sitting at about 87 and a half, which I think was about the same as last week. So I've pretty much just maintained there. Um, I'm not feeling super fat or anything. It's just more you see it in my face and stuff. Everything else is pretty much the same as normal. Just been training hard, eating good, enjoying life, and. Uh, been mucking around a lot with leg locks recently. Actually, that's been my uh, that's been my main bit of fun focus in the gym when I'm like just trying to mix things up. Otherwise, ever everything's been pretty much the same. Like when you're out of kind of season competition, whatever it is, um, that's when I like to lift more weights, and that's when I like to kind of muck about with different things in the gym. Like rather than just focusing on position and winning all the time, like that's when I like to experiment more and. Kind of really, obviously I'm always trying to develop my game, but really develop my game. Anyway, I'm going to venture back inside and do a couple boring bits and bobs. We'll catch up shortly. The bane of doing a lot of sport is doing a lot of washing. Right guys, I'm going to chill out, do a bit of editing and then I might even watch a bit of Captain America Civil War. I've, re I've watched it, but been meaning to rewatch it, so we'll see. But check back in later. What are you saying, Fox? Legend. Right, guys, time is about six o'clock. Didn't actually get to watch the film earlier. Just had one of those afternoons where, kind of, at like four o'clock, I was going to watch the film, but it just. You just end up like just doing random shit and trying to get stuff done. So, anyway, all I've had to eat is a couple pretzels. So, dinner is coming up shortly. We got the mobster 
absolutely loves this type of weather. When the sun gets out, just chills in his little savannah. So here's dinner, we've got a sirloin steak, cooked pretty decent, and I've cut off the fat already. Got some sweet potato fries, and then some of this oven broccoli, which I've dumped some of the steak juice on. Real easy meal, keeping it pretty basic. On the side, gonna slap some of this mayo on too. Mini dessert here, running low on fruit, but just got the last couple strawberries in the fridge and then a tiny bit of Nutella too. So plan for this evening is I'm coaching and I'm gonna get my own training in, which will probably be a mixture of like kickboxing and grappling. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do today, something a bit different, because I like to mix things up, is rather than show my own training, is I thought I'd show share a technique for you guys obviously everyone likes different things um i'm sure people watch the channel for different reasons and i said i'm not normally like about showing stuff but i think i might just show like some bits and bobs um just like real basic moves so tonight i think i'll show the triangle which was the first move i ever learned actually so obviously i'm sure some people watch that have no idea what anything is and then some people i'm sure are more advanced so um, it's just going to be my take on it, what I've learned from my coaches and just yeah, how I apply it. So hopefully people will enjoy that, just something a bit different and um, like I've shown John showing stuff before, maybe I'll try to get some of my other coaches in to show stuff but I um, thought I'd just show my hand at it and see what you guys think. So yeah, we'll cut to that short. Right guys, so like I said earlier, we're going to do the triangle. So we're just going to start here in guard. I've got Mike with me, beautiful assistant, but I'm just going to go from open guard here because I don't really like doing much like attacking from close guard. So we're going to go foot on the hip and I'm going to go push pull. So we always want one in, one out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to attack this arm. So I'm going to push this through and pull this over and I'm going to come up on this hip and kick high, kick high. So I'm gonna get my hamstring across Mike's neck. I'm gonna pull this arm across here. I'm gonna lock my shin down so he can't posture up. And then I'm gonna bring my foot over the top. So my knee is coming over, each, over my shin. I'm gonna keep my feet up and kick down here. I'm hiding the shoulder, coming across the neck. If Mike postures up on this outside leg, I can just take that angle, spin round. I lift my hips, I can pull the head, squeeze, Get the tap. So one more time, got my close guard. I can open, foot on the hip, squeeze, kind of compress him. Push, pull, push that one all the way through, come up, kick over high, hamstring across the neck. Grab my shin, control the posture, pull this arm across, so I'm putting his shoulder into his neck, choking him. Kicking this down, keeping my feet up. Coming over the top, hiding his shoulder, keeping my feet up. And then if he doesn't posture up on that leg, I can take the angle there, or if he does, I can spin around here, control the head, lift my hips, squeeze, get the tap. Easy as that. Right guys, back from training now. Um, hopefully people enjoyed or found that triangle tip there useful. If you do want to see anything else, um, I'm not saying I do it all the time, but I might just drop it in every now and again just to mix it up. Like any moves or anything, put it down below. Obviously, hopefully I know how to do them. But uh, if you want to put a comment in, that's cool. If you want to see more of anything else, let me know. Always open to suggestions for the channel. Anyway, I'm just gonna dive in snack. You know how I roll. Real easy one, guys. Just a sesame seed bagel with crunchy peanut butter. Oh man, I'm trying to speak when you've got like a hamster full of peanut butter is tricky. But God, I look fat, man. This is not on fat shamer, but well, for me, anyway. Yo-yo diet is not the one. Not healthy. But final rant for the day. If you haven't tried it, bagels are far superior with peanut butter. Or just any spread really, but especially peanut but peanut butter than toast because you get the same crunch right, but people are gonna think I'm so weird. You get the same. I've thought this for years, you, and now I have a platform to share on. You get the same crunch, you get the lovely melt of the peanut butter, but then you've got the soft dough. So you always want to go for the thick bagel with the small hole, like. And people will try this. This could be a revolution. I don't know. I feel strongly about this, as you can tell. Can't believe I'm gonna put this on the internet, but everyone's like, shut up Alex, but trust me, peanut butter bagels destroy toast. Heard it here first. Anyway guys, I'm gonna quit while I'm behind there. I'm just rambling everywhere. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a like and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> oh, 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 oh